back with another video doing uh, poetry. I feel like poetry is what initiated my entire channel. And so I'm trying to find a way to get back to it. And being that it's one of uh, the many things I focus on, there's a message uh, display in this poem. So I feel like many can relate to it. It's about transitioning from one process to your life of living to a new form of identifying certain things or values or way to believe. So just relax your mind, open your mind, and let's get into it. It's called Changing Dimensions. At first, it was my impression that shocked me. Dressed up in a pleasing down to the T, based off what society could see. Then one day, I awoke from a daywalking mindset of deep sleep. Notice I was inside of a cell that was empty, having no purpose or belief. Looking around, only surface importance surrounded me. God's presence didn't fill my entirety. Searching for many things to once become complete. Head hanging low whenever the wave of struggle began to arise with defeat. Everybody that usually stood next to me had no interest to party in my depression or pain. Some appeared to wait for this very exact thing, a failed circumstance that would finally put shame in my knowing. So as a human, I took personally from what I could physically see. Everybody turning against my only identity. Through the hurt and discouragement and being left lonely, a key jump from a blank dimension discovering my reality. Like a kid watching cartoons is glued to the TV. Open a land to leave my own misery, to enter into mystery. Pulling and attaching my past identity to a future me that was birthed like the day Tony Stark's seen a vision of, Iron, of the Iron Man suit coming to be his dreams, a real belief. A predestined thought that a creator can make consciously only using the mind, the key was a new opportunity that took away the bad, the hate, or yet shared purpose to why I experienced each chapter of treasoning. That every failed moment was only my younger impression searching for what I was really called and chosen to be. Like God called to the earth a dark vision, begin a new beginning, a full potential to unlock your purpose entirely. Reaching in a new world where only the spirit can lead, a life where physical lifestyles will only work metaphorically. To morph like a caterpillar, entering to a butterfly, a new creature, another, another way of living. Not fully, not fighting every moment by blaming every person, place, or decision. Instead, accepting the actions of doing instead of pleasing the life of a DNA in sync with the dimensional destiny, the land flowing of milk and honey, just like Jesus promised the kingdom would be. It makes the left behind a old name or life that only satisfies fleshly ties easy. Remembering the shared blood of your veins that escaped earth and rose to heaven just so we all could believe. It was only one spark that lit the light of a greater power I carried inside of me. So I sacrificed who, the, who and the person society seen so I could connect to my Lord and Savior, the soup that never quits or leaves me misunderstanding. With this, I became one. With a higher level of thinking, a lock to my key, I am awake from asleep to be able to dream in my reality. Like God says, I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. It is, when, it is this when I have inherited my will, letting go of people pleasing entirely. See, the message of this is, I feel like the universe is the mirror to God's soul, uniting us through the vision, seeing exactly what God sees. There's going to be person. There's going to be people, places, and things that take you outside of who you truly are meant to be. But in this world, once you find who you really are, you cannot lose sight of it. 
Because the way that you, when you, when you come into your new identity, the way that you identify who you are is exactly how God identifies you. It's not what society tells you you are. And I feel like my poem is saying this. In a process of life, in a journey of living life through the physical form and then coming to understand God in a relationship form, it's going to be so many people in this world that may lead you astray or personally just leave you or personally just uh, separate from your path. And many say people come for um, seasons or reasons. So it's like in this life, you cannot allow defeat to overwhelm you because your person inside of you, your spirit form, is already on an agenda to, to find yourself, to find and make you become complete with who you really are. It was never God's well-being to make you feel like you are supposed to become crippled. You feel me? It's not God's agenda to make you feel abandoned, to make you feel less of yourself. It's not God's agenda. And so in the experience that we go through, we still will have circumstances that make us feel like, just feel like we are disconnected a little bit, that we don't belong a little bit. But it's all in a greater, 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 greater plan that will allow you to grip to to get to grab a hold to a key. A key that will unlock everything that you always wanted inside of you that only you can do. Many of us we depend on our relatives, we depend on our church family, we depend on our friends from school, we depend on our mentors, we depend on our coaches, we depend on other people to help us discover who we really are. But God planted that in your inward parts for you to find who you really are. It's already, uh, when I say predestined, pre-calculated. It's already calculated. It was already calculated in the day that you were born to discover who you really were. You feel me? And so when you're on a journey, don't get lost in everything that happens to you. Allow these things to help you nurture the part of you that's feeling misused that's feeling a uh, lack of. Allow yourself to be your very own parent. Allow yourself to treat yourself like you would if you were your own child, you know? Because you will experience a new world inside of you that no one else can take from you, that no one else can rob you of joy, unhappiness. Even the people that waited around for you to fall, when they're laughing at your fall, there will not be um, hatred. You will not use their same tactics against them. You will use a higher level of thinking. You will walk with an assurance and a knowing that you are loved unconditionally. And that is the entire purpose of the plan of God, to unite you with an unconditional love that will never separate you from yourself again. So I hope that poem reached out to you guys. And I'll be back with another poem and another message for another day. I pray for you. Have a good day. Have a good day. Have a good day. Have a good day. Have a good day.